Okay, let's talk about Night Circus by Erin Morganson. Hi guys, it's Mo from Mo Reads It, and today we're doing a book talk, the Night Circus book talk. So if you're on book talk and you've seen the TikToks about this book, everyone loves it. They say it's so beautiful, the writing is spectacular, it has so much hype. So I bought it, used, really happy. I even got like a really nice edition. It's like hardback edition. Even though there's like one part of the end pages are completely ripped out, I'm still really happy I got it used with the original cover. And yeah, really happy about that. But this was one of my worst books of 2021. And let's just talk about it. So things to note when reading this book. This was my worst book of 2021, but it was more of a circumstantial worst book because you're supposed to read the chapter margins to tell you where you are in the book, what location, and what time period you're in. And this jumps around drastically in the book. So I did not know that, so I read the book straight through without reading the chapter margins. It wasn't until like the last few chapters that I was just like, what the heck is going on in this book? I just don't understand. So irritated and then I realized I was reading it wrong the entire time. I wish there was a disclaimer in the beginning to tell you, hey, read the chapter margins, but I typically don't read the chapter margins. I've never found very valuable information in it. Sometimes it has poetry. Sometimes it has cute artwork. Never has it told me like where we are in the book, like 1970s, 1745, the airport, the zoo. Never has that happened to me before, but now this happened to me twice. If you're familiar with the Stalking Jack the Ripper series, this is also like that. The chapter margins tell you what time period and where you are in the book. After The Night Circus, I have started to read chapter margins, so I'm really happy because I was able to actually understand Stalking Jack the Ripper, and the entire series is like this. But even though this is on Book Talk and it is such a popular book, it still wasn't that great for me because it is very atmospheric. It's all about the Night Circus. And don't get me wrong, the Night Circus is hella cool. It's amazing. Like, if there was a circus like that near me, I would actually go to it, experience it, probably wear this outfit. Actually, no, I'd become like one of the circus people in the book and wear the outfits with the red scarves and stuff to be like a true fan. But. I did not like it. It was described as a fantasy romance and does not fantasy romance. The romance is the side piece and it's such a side piece that it's almost just like a tease. And the circus is the main piece. It's the dish, it's the entree. And I wanted it to be swapped. The circus is pretty cool. I really liked it, but I needed the romance to be higher. All that atmosphere is beautiful. It was very nicely written, but the atmosphere was just too much. It overwhelmed everything else in the book. And I wish there was more romance, more about the characters, like... Oh yeah, and if you've listened to the audiobook for this book, it is so odd because it's like this... So the character, I, I, I read it and I listened to it on audiobook. And the audio narrator is a older gentleman. And when he does the voice, the voice of Celia, it is so odd to me and it made me want to chuckle so I could not listen to the audiobook at all. Even though the audiobook voice was great for the atmosphere, it was horrible for the main character, Celia. And I did not like that. I wanted it to be more than one voice. I know they can't really do that in audiobooks. It's like money and time and all this other stuff, but they really didn't do it for Celia with the audio voice person. Anyway, the book is captivating in its synopsis, though. It says, The circus arrives without warning. No announcements precede it, no paper notices plastered on lampposts and billboards. It is simply there when yesterday it was not. Love the synopsis. The writing of this book was definitely spectacular. I know a lot of people will love a lot of other books by Aaron Morganston, and I hope to be able to reread this book and actually understand it and enjoy it. Since it was one of my worst books of 2021, I should have just DNF'd it because I didn't understand what was happening. And I didn't understand until the end when I like started reading the chapter margins. But I did not like the fact that the romance was a side piece. When a lot of people describe me describe this book as like a wonderful 
romance and it wasn't very romantic to me. Erin Morganson is utterly known for some of her other works like The Starless Sea and is a very famous author. I hope to reread this and hopefully enjoy it during the reread and actually make it to maybe like a 3-4. But I just think since the romance wasn't there for me, it's not going to get higher than that and it won't probably it won't qualify for a comfort book or a reread book. Even though it is so lovely written with such beautiful prose. I still plan on reading The Starless Sea because everybody loves it and I really want to know what the hype about it is about honestly and I want to enjoy it. I really do. I low-key want a book too to The Night Circus that has the relationship between Marco and Celia more pronounced but... I just don't see it happening. I feel like she wrapped up the book very well, but I think I'd actually like book two more. So The Night Circus is about Celia and Marco. They are two highly trained magicians by two different ma magician masters, and they have two different types of school of thoughts. So Celia was trained more magically, while Marco was trained more, I want to say mathematically, and they're pretty much put to the test at the Night Circus. This is their playing field and their game board, and they pretty much have to compete to see who is the best magician. But in actuality, they don't want to compete. They want to collaborate and make beautiful things together, and they want to fall in love and be together. And they're pretty much being played as puppets from their magical masters because they want to see which magical school of thought is better. The love story in this I believe has such high potential but it definitely did fall flat for me. I do look forward to the reread. I hope I enjoy it more. I hope the love story captures me more but that is why it was on one of my worst books of 2021. I just did, I couldn't get into it. It was too atmospheric and not enough romance. The circus was the main story and the romance was the side piece. I need it to be the other way around. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this book talk. Be sure to subscribe and check back every Friday. I'm here and I love y'all and happy reading.